What's up, Blue Jay fans? Rob Scott of the Jay Talking Podcast back with another game day recap. A more somber recap to just put the spoiler out there right away. Blue Jays, Baltimore, game three on a lovely Sunday afternoon, Father's Day. All the best to all you fathers and myself as a father, a very proud father to to add. I love my kids. I love being a dad. It's it's actually um, it's the best thing I've ever I've ever done in terms of uh, I don't know, just being a human, I guess. Anyway, enough of that shit. The Blue Jays, 39, 32, Orioles, 39, 28. Marcus Stroman on the hill, 6-2. We'll talk about him a little bit later. 4.76 ERA against Chris Tillman, who's having a very nice season. 9-1 with a sub-3 ERA, 2.87. But we have Marcus Stroman on the hill, and that has been an issue for quite some time. And Baltimore scored early and often, 3 in the first. The Jays responded with their own. Uh, the top of the, uh, excuse me, top of the second, they responded with four. Baltimore ties at the bottom of the second, now 4-4. Four, four. And then Baltimore just goes on to score seven runs over the remainder of the game and pounded the Blue Jays. Took the, took two out of three from the series. Um, so the question is Marcus Stroman, right? I put it out there for a vote. I didn't see what, it, what the numbers were on Twitter, but, uh... What do you do with Marcus Stroman if he keeps pitching like this? You can't keep him in the rotation, particularly, particularly if we're in a playoff race. I don't, I don't think you can do that just hoping he turns it around. You know, if he was a four or five, six year vet with some, with some numbers behind him, yeah, you can do that because you have a, a different expectation. But this is clearly a, a bad bump in his career road that he's going through. I do think he'll get he'll get through it. I do not doubt him as a pitcher overall, um, long term. But I mean, he's been awful, and he was awful again today. What what? Where the fuck did I have his numbers? Uh, three and two thirds today. Uh, gave up ten hits, seven runs, four Ks, and pushed his ERA to five point two three. And since May 1st, he's 3-2. and two. He's lucky to be 3-2. and two. We talk about R.A. Dickey being unlucky to be 4-8, and eight, and he is. He deserves a better fate than that. Not a, not a great deal better fate, but he deserves to be better than 4-8. and eight. Marcus Stroman is the opposite. He came into this game 6-2 and two with a, you know, an ERA close to 5, 4.79, something like that. 6-2. and two. So clearly has had a lot of run support or luck late in games to bail him out, but he was not so lucky this time, took the loss, fell to 6-3, and three, deserved it. Um, and Chris Tillman was not a whole lot better, but uh, his team scored a lot of runs, so he didn't need to be. He threw five innings, gave up five hits, four runs, four Ks, two home runs. His season ERA now 3-11 with a 1.15 whip. Very nice for him. Um... The Jays' offense didn't do a whole lot. Seven hits. I mean, six runs. You say you didn't do a whole lot, but, I mean, seven hits and no walks. So they only put seven men on base. They obviously produced a lot out of those seven hits. Uh, a couple home runs, struck out seven times. As I said, no walks. Uh, Tulo had a blast, which was nice to see. The legend of Troy continues. Can he overcome and climb those sand dunes and slaughter the earth by mass? I think so, and I think he will. And I hope he does. Babies, too. Don't forget the babies. Um, Travis had a nice game. Three for three. Two runs, three ribbies, a home run. Um, he's turned it up. Since June 11, he's uh, 13 for 28, which is just below 500. With two home runs and 10 RBIs. That's uh, spanning, what the fuck's the date today? The 19th? Eight days. Ten ribbies and an average of almost 500. So hopefully he's getting that bounce in his step. 
So the Jays fall three back. Boston also won today. I think they beat Seattle 2-1. They fall two back of Boston, three of Baltimore, 39-33 and 33 on the season. And then Tuesday, Arizona comes into Toronto, I believe, for a three-game set. Marco Estrada will start that one off. The ace of the Blue Jays, 5-2, and two, the 2.58 ERA. And a whip right at one. I can't. I don't remember what his number is, but it was either just below, like 098, or just barely above. You know, within four. You know, 1.02. I don't know how to explain math. I was. I was. I failed grade 10 math three times. I don't mind saying math is not my thing. Although I love stats, so it, that's weird. All right. Uh, that's everything I was going to talk about the uh, the offense, but I'm going to do that in a different. Uh, on its own separate podcast and talk about the fielding a little bit because we don't hear a lot about that uh, and I'm to blame for that as well so thank you for joining me I'll see you again soon <laughs> Bye.